All right. Um, this isn't a video reply to anybody or anything. If you want to make a video reply, go ahead, but that's not what this is about. Um, seeing as I've got, what, like 400 views on that previous video I made, uh, I may as well come clean that this has nothing to do with Onision. Like I said, I've only watched about one or two of his videos. I've done a little research, and quite frankly, I don't think a lot of what he makes is humorous. I don't think it's funny to make fun of people with uh, psychotic disorders. I do not think that I Am a Banana was particularly funny. I just don't find his videos all that funny. I don't know about his character. I don't know about... And I don't think he's a bad person for vlogging his feelings and his personal life like a diary. YouTube can be used in that regard. Uh, I just don't like Mr. Rep Zion. And yes, I know that you all think it's pronounced Zion or some shit, but considering the fact that it's spelled Zion, I'm going to pronounce it Zion. And frankly, it doesn't matter what his name is. So, it comes down to the fact that I really, really don't like Mr. Rep Zion. Now, the question here becomes, why don't I like Mr. Rep Zion? Is it because he's a moderator? Because that's primarily who my hatred is for. And no, I, to my knowledge, Mr. Rep Zion does not ban people. I don't know if he advocates banning people or not. So maybe hate is not the right word. Uh, I strongly dislike Mr. Rep Zion. And I strongly dislike him because of everything he stands for. Or should I say, what he doesn't stand for. Mr. Rep Zion has no morals. He might be a Christian, but does that, that does not mean he is a moral person. That is my issue with Christians. That's People have this misconception that I'm an atheist, and I'm not. I just don't like people who claim to be religious, but then do not hold religious convictions. What about Mr. Rep Zion is a Christian? The fact that he refuses to curse in his videos? The fact that he lives a straight-edge life, and is all touchy-feely and liberal, and, li and doesn't want to hurt people's feelings? That makes me sick. We live in a very dark and dreary world. Every moment of our lives is meaningless and dull and monotonous, and we are waiting to die. The best we can hope to do in life is to struggle and try to find meaning and do something with purpose and love and power behind it. All we can hope to do is that maybe, just maybe, we'll change the world for the better in one regard or another. And nothing about Mr. Reb Zion exudes that. Nothing about his videos or his existence says to me that he has some kind of motivation to make this world a better place. All he wants you to believe is that he's a loving, compassionate Christian that does not judge you and loves you. I don't want him to fucking love me. I don't want him to pray for me. I do not want him to go to church every Sunday. I want him to get on his hands and knees and try to do what he can to make this world better and in whatever regard he thinks is best or he thinks he's equipped to do. And that's what bothers me about Christians. Because Christians have forgotten where their roots are in fighting against debauchery, in fighting against sinful, hedonistic cannibals that were willing to kill their own babies and fuck, fuck in the street and do all this raunchy bullshit and worship golden calf statues. That's what Christianity was founded upon. Christianity was founded upon war and bloodshed in the name of justice and righteousness. And that is not Mr. Reb Zion. That's why I have no respect for the guy. That's why he bothers me to such a great extent. It has nothing to do with the fact that um, he's done anything to me personally. But I just look at him and it, it literally sickens me that people like that can exist. That people can live their lives not thinking about that at all. And just kindly float by waiting to die and the world is just fine and dandy. And I'm sure it's fine and dandy for him, since seeing as he comes from a rich background, he's going to college to become a CSI or whatever. Yeah, life handed him a, a gift basket, didn't it? Uh, you know, he got, he got fruit and wine with his fucking life, but most of us didn't. Uh, you know, so that's my problem with Mr. Reb Zion. It's, it's not the fact uh, that he 
he's bashing somebody else. I mean, I'm going to cling to that and use that to villainize him, but I really don't care. I don't care who he hurts, but, you know, it, it bothers me that he's not hurting people for a reason. It bothers me that he has no reason. He has no depth. He has no soul. He has no existence, reason to exist. And, you know, that is nihilism. That, he's just an empty vessel. And, that, why? You know, why even bother to live if you're gonna live that way? And, it, you know, one of the main things about Mr. Abzion that bothers me is the fact that he is just so, uh, dedicated to being like a Saturday morning cartoon where he he watches his language and he tries to be unoffensive and things like that who are you trying to impress do you think any of these people out here matter or even care no their attention spans are as short as a gnat they will forget about you tomorrow that's why I don't care about what I say I just say whatever comes to mind that's why I don't script what I write I would I spout online that's why I don't think well maybe I shouldn't say that that's kind of offensive uh, I just blurt it out like puke because quite frankly that's all you deserve that's that's all the people around me deserve because what have they done to prove it otherwise what has humanity done to prove it otherwise that they are capable of deeper thought deeper discourse than just whatever's on my mind at the time. You know, if he was a friend of mine, maybe I would care about offending him. But he's not a friend of mine. And I doubt he ever would be. You know, so so to say that I wish ill upon Mr. Rebzion is a, is a bit of an enigma. Because I kind of do, but not really. I, I sort of look at him as like the Bowser in my Super Mario Kart. He's my enemy, but a friendly enemy. You know, I'm content with just picking on him and kicking him while he's down and, you know, pointing out all his hypocrisies and shit. Nya, 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 just poking at him. But I don't really want to hurt him. I would like to see him lose his money. I would like to see him lose everything and have to live his life the way we do. Where, uh, you know, which he probably will, seeing as he's going to college and will be in debt up to his eyeballs. And since he's a white knight, he will undoubtedly get married, get divorced, and lose fucking everything. Just like the very person he was picking on. So, there's that to look forward to, but that's a big maybe. Because I do not believe in Sod's Law. That's what most religions come down to, is Sod's Law. What is Sod's Law? It is the saying that misfortune will be catered to the individual. Wiccans believe it. Uh, to a lesser extent, Muslims believe it. Uh, and Christians especially believe it. And it's bullshit. Our world does not exude that kind of justice, that bad things happen to bad people and good things happen to good people. So... I don't claim any sort of religious conviction that would suggest that. Does that mean I don't believe in a higher power of some sort, a greater intelligence, some kind of spiritual origin to our nature? No, no, I wouldn't go that far. But we certainly do not have an all-loving, all-good God, and we certainly have no reason to have a religion based off of that. And all he is doing is vicariously, through living his life the way he does, is encouraging that stupidity. So, that's why I dislike him. I dislike all people like him. I dislike what he believes. I dislike what he stands for. I dislike his... His entire existence is offensive to me because it just reminds me of how bad off we really are as a, as a species. And, um... If anything, I would say we are more like, um, well, not even Murphy's Law. Because Murphy's Law says that if something can go wrong, it will go wrong. And that would still imply that there's some kind of justice, because at the end of the day, you know the people that are all happy and giddy and smiling, something bad will happen to them too. And that's, that's not always the case. If that were true, Mark Zuckerberg would have put a fucking gun in his mouth by now. And he's still alive and kicking. Facebook is still worth millions. 
oh, uh, you know, he still gets to ban people whenever he fucking wants to. That's not justice. So, I would say I believe, as far as religion goes, snafu. Uh, which essentially says, uh, shit, normal, uh, all fucked up. I believe that was the, uh, the acronym. Uh, it's an old military acronym where, um... Uh, like like it says, sh shit's all fucked up, and that's normal. That that is our existence—a monotonous, boring, gray blob of bullshit. And it, it doesn't really get better; it just gets worse. It, it's predictable, but at the same time, there's a tint of chaos, just a little pinch of it, just enough to take from you and make you regret and make you have shame. But not really enough to ever be so chaotic and so erratic that um, it's interesting or amazing or thought-provoking. So, there you go. That's why I don't like Mr. Rep. Zion. Because Mr. Rep. Zion lives in a fantasy world. Partially because of his religion, partially just because of the way he is. Even if he was not a Christian, I probably would still dislike him. But I do believe that his Christian upbringing has a lot to do with how he acts today. Clearly, his Christian parents, his Christian family, etc., had a large part in why he acts the way he does. And that is not Christianity. I do not believe for one second that people that 99% of those that claim to be Christian are. Mr. Reb Zion probably does not even realize the true name of God. He's probably still calling him Jehovah. So that's why I I don't like Mr. Reb Zion and I take these opportunities to bash him. And whether or not that's hypocritical, I don't care. I don't care if I'm being hypocritical. Because if it gets the job done, that's all that matters. All that matters is that something is done. That there is a conclusion, that it's meaningful, and that it did something. That's it. So, see you later.